right, Dan, thank you. It is 543 now, and as we turn to a new campaign to clean up area schools without a mop, yes, we're talking about cleaning up dirty mouths. And here to join us, our assistant principal of Miamisburg High School, Michael Black. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. And Pat Roller, and I've known you, Pat, through the years. I would call Pat a community activist. But this is really interesting, and it's certainly something I know parents really appreciate because a lot of schools have, you know, zero tolerance policies to cussing, right? Mm -hmm. But to enforce them, that's difficult. Michael, please tell me why now you're going to bump that effort up. Well, we had some concerns from community members. One of these community members is Pat Roller, who's sitting next to me. Um, she came to me, and she was just, uh, it really happened for her at a sporting event where she heard other players saying things to other players that shouldn't have been said. Students, teenagers. Students. From another school. Yes. Okay. So it, and, you know, with her concerns and other people's concerns that we had heard through the board and through um, our superintendent, we felt like now was the time. And we took that and we really just took it to the students. And we said, this is what's happening. We see it as a concern. And we want you to lead the change. And that's kind of what we did, and it's really kicked off very nicely. And kicking off officially, I guess, tomorrow, Pat, how is the community working with the students? What are you expecting people to do? Well, if we have school tomorrow, <laughs> we've got the mayor, some of the city council, uh, we've got some business people, we've got uh, some clergy. I mean, we're really getting Miamisburg involved with this. And they've really jumped on board. I, I've been really pleasantly surprised how, you know, my husband's company, Dayton Superior, uh, donated the little wristbands that we're giving out. And what are you asking folks to do? And what if they don't abide by these new, you know, whatever restrictions or, or suggestions or whatever you want to call them? Is there going to be a penalty for students and, and teachers, for that matter, and administrators? <clears throat> and we stressed, we wanted to make sure it was real clear to the teenagers um, the students that this is not just a teen issue. This is an adult issue. This is a staff issue. Um, this is a really a community-wide effort. And what we are doing is trying to get students to sign a pledge. And this pledge is just saying that they will watch what they say and they will hold their friends accountable and things like that. Um, we have told other students that, you know, you could see them coming up to the table yesterday contemplating whether or not they should sign the pledge. And we tell them, you don't have to sign the pledge, but you are still going to be asked to use appropriate language at school. Okay. Pat, finally, what are you mm -hmm. expecting the community to do? And what if you overhear something? Are you really asking people to say, hey, 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 that's not appropriate? Well, there's times that it's, it's appropriate to say, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I have a friend in Texas who was at a, a baseball game, and a woman got very belligerent, and they finally had to escort her away because... She just got totally out of control. Okay. But, uh, so I, show I, us the T-shirts. I got to show you this shirt. Are the students going to be wearing these? Yes, they are yes. buying the shirts, and anybody in the community can buy them okay. for seven dollars. This is the front, and, here's okay. the back. and Michael has the back. Okay, and you're going to get the mayor to sign that pledge, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I love and we're going to try and get you to sign it. <laughs> oh, Dan will tell you, and that might be tricky. No, no, no. We're, we're supportive of this effort, and we wish you well. It's the subject of our Facebook today, and, you know, for today, snow could be a four-letter word to a yes, lot of people. Yes. And Jamie is standing by.